hello everyone uh, in this video I'm going to discuss with you how to uh, uh, contact or approach to a professor uh, for a scholarship like either it's a PhD or master um, the things are same for both um, when you are trying to contact a professor um, there are several things you have to be careful but it's not there is no trick that uh, if you will do that and uh, it's hundred percent that you will get a response from a professor it's not it's not hundred percent sure but just some things that you have to be careful about uh, like first of all uh, uh, I will uh, uh, I will add uh, a template which I use when I was contacting with uh, different professors and I, I get successful and I will add that template uh, in description of this video you can use that and uh, I hope so uh, it will be useful for you but you have you can find many others on internet uh, but I will share also with you on that I use for my my own my own purpose when I approach it to different professor and the the things which you have to be careful that don't be messy in email that don't say that oh you can do this i can also do this and i'm very expert in your field this 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 don't be like this messy add thing in bullets in points be concise like if professor will open an email he should be like he or she should be like that oh this is interesting like if you will add more data more things maybe you read first line and then oh no maybe it means means that if i am i am a person who's going to read your work or your email if i will check oh your first line is good um i will i will be interested to read the next 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 but if i could not find that anything related to mine i will skip that because a professor receiving a lot of emails a lot of emails maybe hundreds of emails he's not ready to e uh, read every email very deeply and like that uh, he's reading a research article so you have to add very few words and very efficient like words in bullets points i will share with you my own how i send my data and i was previously before using that template i use many other templates i I, I can say that is that I, I send to hundreds uh, professor and maybe I will receive only one or two professor response on that emails when I used this template to send many other professor I receive a lot of response maybe I don't know the different why why at that time but it's, it was successful when I send this I, I use this template to send email it was good subject was matter uh, a lot matter in this email the subject should be very good like uh, candidate to ml lab candidate to this uh, project uh, for phd position like it should be a good uh, subject and then emails should be a very good uh, to get a response from a professor so uh, i told you in previous video if you get a response and offer letter from a professor it's 100 percent like i can say 100 percent sure that you can get you can get a scholarship so just just touch in with any professor and get ready to get acceptance letter and just get your scholarship it's, it's, it's very simple after that so when you are approaching your professor be careful about the things which I told you and which and use that template which I am going to add in this, this uh, video description hope so uh, it will be helpful for you and uh, hope so I can make more video which which, which you can use to get your scholarship. See you soon.